One of the modern wonders of the world, the wildebeest migration, rakes in millions to the Kenyan tourism sector every year. President Uhuru Kenyatta on Saturday joined tourists at the Masai Mara National Game Reserve to witness this spectacle. The view, which attracts a large number of tourists from around the world annually, took place at Kichwa Tembo in the Game Reserve. Here's an exclusive interview with CCTV's Beatrice Marshall. Traditionally, you know, our main market was largely uh, uh, Western Europe and um, uh, the United States of America. And, and while we continue to, to try and encourage uh, more growth and development in those markets, we also recognize that uh, with uh, new growing economies like China, India, Brazil, South Africa, right here on the continent, um, these are markets with huge potential who uh, would ordinarily look towards Paris and other such uh, uh, destinations. We're trying to encourage them to, to see a different part uh, of, 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 of history, uh, a, different, a different environment, uh, an environment that uh, maybe they previously were not very familiar with. But as we're seeing uh, over time, the more visitors we get, the, the more they begin to appreciate what, uh, what, what, what Kenya has. We're also trying to, to expand um, tourism within the region and, and uh, also working with our partners uh, in Uganda, in Rwanda, in Tanzania to, 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 to joint sell our, our, our destination um, as, as, as a destination that really packs so much you know, into you know, one, one, one area. It's, it's, it's incredible when you imagine that we have, you know, snow-capped mountains, you know, savanna, desert uh, landscapes. But also uh, looking at Kenya as well, you know, we've got our beach. We've also got huge potential to develop uh, a convention kind of tourism where we can try and hold conferences and, and, and uh, international conventions uh, here in Kenya as well. So these are all areas that we're, we're hoping to expand on uh, going forward. This is why um, programs like, uh, like, like uh, the one you, you as CCTV are currently uh, uh, carrying out um, to expose people to, 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 the, to the wonders of, 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 of uh, the wildlife that we have. Um, you know, once they start beginning to be exposed to this and to see the value, they themselves will um, want their own governments to begin to take action to ensure that uh, um, going forward, other countries also begin to take very, very, very strict measures to ensure that uh, those markets where, 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 where these trophies are taken, you know, are, are, are actually clamped down on. So um, this is why we, we, we encourage and we support this, because the more people get exposed, the more people see the natural beauty, the more people begin to appreciate it, the more they'll want to protect it, even for their own children and their children's children.